Black and gold represent the two ingredients to forge steel, coal and iron ore. When I think of the city of Pittsburgh, I think of black and gold. I think the, the football team has set the standard for that entire city. They've always been true to their colors, and the people of Pittsburgh have always responded. The terrible towel waving in the stadiums, the black and gold worn at the games, it all ties the city, the community, and the team together. Art Rooney, who founded the team, he was incorporating the city into his franchise from the very beginning. When they first started, the Steelers used the City of Pittsburgh crest on their jersey. It was very unique, never been done in the NFL before or since. The next year, the Steelers came up with perhaps history's ugliest uniform ever. It looked like the players played at the University of Sing Sing. They looked like they were prisoners. It was not long thereafter that the uniform totally disappeared. Years later, the Steelers' uniform reflected the Golden Triangle, a symbol of Pittsburgh's three rivers. So we tried to put the Golden Triangle on our jerseys. The only thing is, nobody knew what it was, and actually, when Tony Parisi had the jerseys washed for the first time, they faded. So rather than it be a golden color, it looked like mustard. The team also paid tribute to the mill workers when they adopted the logo of U.S. Steel. It conveys the image of Pittsburgh as a steel town. The black and the gold says this is a team that does not suffer fools gladly, that is serious about its work. And in the 1970s, when the steel mills began to shut down, the Super Bowl champion Steelers gave their fans a reason to believe again. Black and gold, they're not just colors, they're a nation.